Hello and welcome. Next I like to show you that how I replace this Toyota Corolla's drive shaft axle and drive shaft and now we are in right side. And first step is to take this car feel and tire out and then we then we start then we start to disassemble those things that we can take the axle away. Okay and my first job is to open these feel bolts and for that we need this long tool and it is 1919 millimeter socket for fits in there and now they are they are open and then I can lift this car body up next. Okay and then important part we have in this central area there is nut and this protective locking pin and for that opening we need this kind of tongs and there is idea that first I need to take this metallic pin away what is very important now I rotate that and then I little bit I start to pull out that in this way and then And there is this old pin. There is this locking plate, what is also important. And then we have this very tight bolt. And this is my next job. Okay, and for that job we need three zero millimeter this socket. And it must be a little bit longer that when we insert that in here that it go, goes enough to deep. Remember that you have enough to deep this uh, socket that it goes in deeper. For example, I need to purchase new socket and this pr price is something like 5 US dollars. Now it fits in there and then I have next job that I need to insert this car body, actually this feel in ground and then I need to use really long bar because this bolt is tight. Remember, this is maybe the one of, one of the most tightest and difficult bolts to open. And of course, clean these bolts that area that there is no any sand or dust because if, if, if this is full of sand, we have difficulties to open that bolt. Okay, and then we continue. Okay, and now I have in here this long bar and my socket is there, but, but still this is really difficult to open. And, and please insert feel in against ground and then you can press brake pedal, your assistant can, can press brake pedal and then we can insert our gear to this, this in some gear box like gear one and then we start to open that and this is this is this is tight thing and now I think that because I can't open this my bolt I need longer tool okay and there is this my tool and when I tried to open that in here I couldn't open that because because this was so tight and that's I visited I have in here this hardware store like Home Depot in US we can purchase this metallic pipe what is in very standard pipe in every every home this is home construction material and then I insert that my pipe in here look that this is my special weapon it goes in here and then, then when it goes in there, I can get like extra force, like in two times more force. And then I, then I try to move, there's my hand in here, and then I try to move that. Let's look in there what happens. And this is, this is deep. Ooh. This is bad job. Okay, and I 
I try more. Two hands in here. This is difficult thing. Okay, let's look and be carefully because bolt is tight. Okay, let's look. The Finally, this is now it opens, but this is this is bad bolt. Okay, now now it's open. Okay, good. But as I, I told, we need a metallic pipe. This cost like one US dollars or two, couple of euros. Okay, and now bolt is open and then when it's open I can lift this car body now up. Okay, and here is my this brake disc and there is this suspension strut. And what we need to do next? Next, of course, we need to rotate that central drive shaft, central nut in almost away in that position. And then we need to soon hammer that little bit that this drive shaft opens. And then we need to, of course, open this tie rod L ends, this lower bolt. And then these, when we take this struts bolt away, it's important and of course we need to take this brake caliber away and there when I rotate that little bit I need to take these two bolts in here away and and in that and also that that bolt when I remove or actually this could be in here because I am I need to disassemble this part a little bit more okay and now there is many options but I think that I try to start my job so that, that I disassemble this brake caliper and there is now two 12 millimeter bolts in here in here one in here and second in here and I open those first and then I think that I can open these bolts and and let's let's continue. But first, brake caliber away. Okay, and then, then I I take my socket. What size is one four? It's like fourteen. There is this sides and this sides fits in these brake caliber bolts and rot opening this. Opening direction is in that way. There's lower bolt, and in that way, in I open. This is the direction where I I rotate that. And now this bolts moves nicely. Good, and I can take these bolts away. Two bolts, 14 millimeters. And then this brake caliper moves in here out. And now I think that I insert that my brake caliper in here, that it likes, it is, it is lifting in there, its place in there. Okay, now I have inserted that brake caliper in here. I have connected in those plastic cables it in here and now we have more space to work in here and then I take this, this brake pads away and then, then this brake, cali, brake disc is moving and then I think that, that I need to take this brake calipers this, uh, this, uh, this support frame, that part, this part away next. And there is, there is two bolts, first is in here, and second is in, in here, in that area. And I need to, I need to open, here is the second. 
and its size looks like 17 or 19. Okay, and then I need this kind of thicker hammer that I press that central. And now this drive shaft is free. And then we then we continue to open that tie rod end. And I need to rotate that little bit in here. And then I take my socket in here. Okay, and then I need socket. What size is one nine? It's 19 millimeter, one nine, and it fits in here. In that way, I I insert that in here, and then I need a little bit longer bar that I can open. And rotation is in that way. How I open that, and actually, it was wrong way. It is it was in that. Now it opens, and, and this was this opening direction, sorry, in that way. Sorry, I made wrong mistake. Now I rotate that, and then there is trick, little bit rotation in here, and I, little bit rotation, and keep this bolt in here, and then bolt must be in place, almost totally, totally, and then big hammer, and hard hit up. And then this tie rod opens. Okay. Now, now I rotate that. I have quite new tie rod, and now it's open. Normally this can be quite tight, and then we need to hammer a little bit more. Okay. Now this is this is fine. And then, then I can. Then I can open this central nut. Now I think that our drive set is quite, quite, quite free. And actually, because now it don't open, I need to open. I need to open this pouch joint in this lower area next. Okay, and then I need to open this pulp joint, what is in here lower, and 17 millimeter socket, and three bolts in here, what, what I open, in here down, and then, then we loop those bolts in a little bit lower view. Okay, and here are those bolts, three of those, and next I need to open those. It happens so that I take a socket, what is in here, and this long bar, and I insert it is and the size is 17, 1, 7, and it fits in here in that way, and then I only open that this way. This bolt opens normally quite easily. And then I open and I take all of this and, and one bolt is in, in here left. Okay. And then I take this this bolts away and this bolts look like that. It looks okay and one is two bolts and uh, sorry, one nut, two nuts and one bolt. And then I take those away, those three. Okay, and then we need to separate this bolt joint and then this support rod. And for that we need this long, very durable screwdriver, what I insert in here. And then I only a little bit move that up and it, it opens so easily. And, and now they are like separate. And then I insert my hands in here and now this joint is separate. And now this drive shaft also I can I can take this drive shaft out. I press that in there. Okay. Now, now drive shaft is 
free. Okay, and then, then when drive shaft is free, I can go to insert that engine area next. Let's look that. Okay, and there is this cars, this uh, drive shaft, and we can see that this location is it's just in here, and it goes in this gear box, what is in here. And next, I take that my pick tool. Again, this is my this long screwdriver, very big when you compare my hand. And then I need also clean plastic canister because soon in this when I take this drive shaft out this engine gearbox oil start to dry out and that's I need this canister and then there is idea that when I insert that my my tool in here and then I only or actually I need to hammer that yes this was in that idea. Let's te take new view. Okay, and there is view, and this is this drive shaft position, and I insert that my tool in here, and then I will hammer that head in here, my hammer. And let's look at what happens. There is this my drive shaft in this position, in here, and in there I will hit soon. There is my hammer, and I insert that my tool in here, just in that position, and then I will, then I will hammer that head in this way. Okay, and then it should open in there, and then a little bit hammering. Okay. It seems that it is almost open, not yet, a little bit more hammering, that part, okay, not yet, not yet opening. more. Okay, and now I decided to take this my this my drive shaft away in this this place in here and now it's it's free and then when we go to look in that thing in here that how this opening works it is now a little bit open and Can, I can show that how, how I managed to do. There's my pick, pick this bike, and I inserted that in just in this position, and then hammering. Okay. Now it start to. Now it opens. Okay, good. And there we can see that. Oil goes to my canister. Please look that. Okay, and then when I take that drive shaft a little bit more out in here, I move that. I move in that. Now there is coming more. More look. Okay, and then we go to take this drive shaft away. Okay, in that position, I take contact in here and I, I carry, I carry this, this drive sand away. Okay, good. Okay, and now this drive shaft is in the back in there, and I have installed also this other area in this gearbox area. It is ready in there. And then it's important to do so that, that we are sure that this drive shaft is enough deep in the gearbox area. 
that I need to hit that that uh, drive shaft in this position and next I will do that. Okay and next I need to be sure that this drive shaft goes enough deep in here and for that job we need to look in that area in there that when I hit that drive shaft that it goes enough deeper and let's do that next. Okay and there we can see this drive shaft area and there now there is one centimeter this area and next I go to I go to hit in I take my grip in that shaft and I hit that in this direction and then this small joint in there should be should be go away and let's look at what I can do Okay, now it goes, it went enough deep. Excellent. And we, we heard also this sound that it said, said, the, said like click. Okay, and there is dropping, by the way, our gearbox oils. And those oils are in my canister. But I recommend that we add new oil in this gearbox area because almost oil, all gearbox oils are now drying out and we continue then okay and in that step it's good to insert more this gearbox oil because when we take out this drive shaft there go went out this this uh, gearbox oil almost i think that almost all oils went out and now we need to add in there this two liters or two quarters this uh, gearbox oil okay and then i will add that and if you need to know that how to replace this gearbox oil please look my video i have made video also in that topic and then we continue okay and now we are in this position and next we need to do so that I need to insert that drive shaft through this this bearing area and it happens so that I move that a little bit and then, then I, I, I insert that okay, and, and then use close because there is risk that this is quite hard and it can can damage our fingers and then next step is that that there is this pulp joint in here that I a little bit lift up this my this thing and I take my big screwdriver and it looks like that next a little bit a little bit lift up this my thing using this my in that way that I insert that in here and then I little bit press down I press down this control arm and then it's easier or actually I can insert that my tool in here in that way and some other place in here I, I insert that in here there I can press. Okay. I need to little bit press down that that okay this is good position and here I press down and idea is that that this bolt joint bolts goes through this this holes. Okay and, and then carefully there is this first Okay, and this bigger, bigger bolt, okay, in that, that way, and first this, first bolt, 
Okay, now first is there, and then second. Okay, now now it's fine. Pulse joint, and then pulse joint bolts in there. And there, there are there are these pulse joint bolts in here, and I insert that in in this down. There is this my area, and then second, second bolt also. Good. Now these bolts are fine, and then, then I can do so that we can, we can, we can insert that central nut also. But then this joint is well. There is my this central bolt. And I start to fasten that also. Okay, good. And now I fasten this quite well. And then we had this. I need to insert it back next this next this bolt joint bolts and and then there is this tie rod end and I insert that also back now this in here and open that bolt and now when I insert this this uh, bolts in here this is like only like starting I, I only insert this bolt and next step is to fasten and tighten these bolts in right dogue French amount and it's really important important okay and this is fine and then I think that next I need this 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 I need to insert this brake caliper back in here and it's now in there and and I cut my this uh, this joint in here and I insert that brake caliper back in here next Okay, and then I fasten these bolt joint bolts in here. That way. Okay. Okay, and then they are they are fine in here, and then. I need to add this talk with friends amount in here next. Okay, and then this bolt joint bolts in here and talk with friends amount is 100 newton meters is this force. 100. I rotate in here 100. They must be tight. Okay, now there is. 100 in their scale and then I fasten these bolts and then when we hear this click the force is still up. Okay, there is okay then good they are fine and then tie rod end also okay and there is this tie rod end bolt in there and there is force now 40, 40 newton meters. And it's like in here. Now we have 40 in this scale. And then I fasten that bolt. Okay, and there is enough force, good. And then, then we continue. Okay, and then we need to fasten this central bolt in here very tight. And this amount is like 200 newton meters. And it is a very tight amount. And next, I take my, my dog reference tool and I set up in here amount what is 200 newton meters. And I rotate that, and this is big force for the central nut. 
this is the I think that the most tightest 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 nut in car. And here and then let's okay. Okay now there's two hundred and I in, insert that support the security plate and then metallic metallic pin pin in there metallic pin okay good a little bit hammering Ready, we continue. Okay, and now this metallic pin is in the right position. And then the final step is to fasten these steel bolts. And then this job is, job is done. Okay, and this was this information. And final step is to tighten wheel bolts and then this job is done. Okay, thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you.